Hi, I'm Ron Yurko, and finally, this is the $100,000 jig. Actually, it's made me probably closer to half a million. What's unique about this jig is that when it's in combination with a uh, 101 pork trailer from Uncle Josh, that it looks almost identical to a crawfish. And many, many, many of my tournaments where I came in and I was successful, there were many crawfish parts in the live well, which indicates they were feeding on it. The other thing about it is that the fish averaged bigger than most guys that catch them on a worm or spinnerbait or anything like that. But the, the jig is so phenomenal that it's for skipping under docks and, and then pumping along, it looks just like a crawfish or dropping it down inside a stump water, a brush pile right at the, uh, the center stem on it. I mean, drop it down there when they go thunk on it. The thing about it, what's so unique is it's down their throat and you very seldom ever miss a fish on it. This jig is, it's not like something you see advertised on TV that, you know, banjo minnow or anything like that. This jig has, I mean, throughout Ohio, Pennsylvania, Kentucky, Tennessee, Canada, everywhere, they know of this jig. Out of the whole state of Ohio, this jig dominated. In three All-Americans, I pulled in over $79,000 just on this jig. That's all I had in my tackle box for the tournaments. And it, it's just fabulous that how it took years and years and years to develop it. Finally, we've got Venom Lures that spent months and thousands of dollars getting it made exactly what I know I wanted. This jig is just, I mean, it's so fantastic. The wire guard on it, everything on it. It just, the, the way it, it shoots, skip it under a dock and it drops down. A lot of times they hit it on the fall, but when they see it come along and you go pump, pump, drop, pump, pump, drop, it looks like a crawfish scooting away trying to get away from danger. When they hit it, they don't fool around. They want it. And what's nice about it, it's a lighter bait. I mean, you can skip it in. You can throw in some of the heaviest brush piles you ever imagined, but all bass love it. This thing doesn't just work on one bass. If it's large mouth, small mouth, or Kentucky spotted bass, this lure has helped me over the years. Everybody, if you contact anybody in the state of Ohio or Pennsylvania, anything, they will tell you that this jig works. And they'd see it, and if in my write-ups and newspapers and everything, I always talk about the little brown jig, and this is the one right here. It is identical, 100% exact as what I used to throw.